Okay, guys, if I'm new, uh, no stand for real at the moment. We're going to uh, do all the ticket meetings. The fence ticket meetings for the next session, okay? So the 3 o'clock or something? Yeah. The 3 o'clock or something. All ticket, okay? We're just staying with the moment. Um, so we're going to do it with no stand uh, at the fence. Um, Kevin's going to tackle with a bumpy stone and a reverse punch, um, which is probably one of the hardest things to defend against is a reverse flit. Uh, like a back fist, Kevin goes uh, back fist, reverse flit to me here. It's quite easy to block that first shot. Um, and if I'm strong enough, I can hold him. I can hold him back with it. Uh, I can certainly stand here and try and overpower him. And okay, put his hand across his body. If I can put his hand across his body, or sorry, if you can put my hand across my body, wait, this way, as short as this. If you block up as a reverse punch, it doesn't shorten that. Okay? So, if I'm attacking again, and he, block up, he does a block up and a reverse punch, that's probably going to do a one each, or because I'm attacking, I'm going to even get the score. Okay? Or some reference might like count as a one count as well. So, you don't want to chance any of that. If Kevin blocks the shot out across my body, he seriously reduces my range, and he still has a perfect reverse punch there. Okay? So, that's why a, a normal bit is so easy to block. Okay? Just push across the body. Um, and you're going to be strong pushing up the Okay? Um, now, when somebody goes with a reverse punch, which is from here, and I just go forward, boom. People don't even try and tend to block that. What they try and do is tend to do is jump the back fist or stop the side kick because there's, 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 you never really see people be able to successful block to that shot. Okay? So if Kevin throws a defensive reverse punch at me and I try and block down here, my head comes up. Okay? If he throws it and I try and block inwards, my head comes up. If I try and block it outwards, my head comes up. Or if I try and block it with my back hand, even, my head comes up. So there's no real successful shot to that or block to that um, unless you use your arm and basically a big circle like that. Okay? So we're going to show this one uh, once or twice and see how you get on with it. And I'm going to show you what it is. From this position here, the very first thing that's going to happen, my front foot is going to switch back and I'm going to change stance. I'm not going to stand on the spot to change stance. Because that doesn't take this target, which is my body, any further away from me. Okay? My body is here now. As I switch back, it's going to come back considerably. Okay? It's going to be a lot further away from me. So the first thing I'm going to do as a safety measure is, as you first that shot, I pull back to here. I believe you'll do it fairly fast. Especially because by now I'm covering, so I'm not going to have this stance, I'm going to have this stance. My leg is trying to push me that way, to here. Okay? If you're 50 50 and Kev's position, uh, Kev's uh, legs are positioned to push him forward as fast as he can go. If my legs are positioned to push me backwards as fast as he can go, he's probably going to hit me. So you can't just chance this. You set him up for it, okay? I'm going to sell the body shot to him like this, okay? So he forces the body. Alright? That's the first thing we do. I'm going to sell the shot. I don't want to be trying to block something and not know what I'm blocking. I don't know if he's going to round a kick, side kick, reverse punch. I'm going to give him a uh, body shot. Because Kevin's more of a puncher than a kicker, I pretty not much know that there's, there's a shot from him but Alright? Um, probably you know, or your coach would have told you, this person's more, it's, it's something very simple. This person's off hand, this person's kicker, whatever, okay? So what we're going to do, from this position, we're going to go back. As we go back, we're going to hook down, over, and hit. Okay? Now, it doesn't matter when you block, once you avoid the first shot, if you're fast and you're sharp, as he reaches in, you're going to block the reverse one. Uh, just, just reverse one. You're going to block the reverse punch, and as the back just comes, you're going to wrap that up in the reverse punch. If you miss the reverse punch by pulling back too far, and you block a bit late, it doesn't matter, because as he throws the back fist, you will still count the back fist and hit the reverse punch. So, the speed of your blocking hand doesn't really matter. You will block it. The important thing is that you get your body out of the way really fast. What you end up hitting with is the reverse punch. Because you're switching the stance when you switch, it ends up in a lead jab. Because you're switching and trying to tank around, you're hitting the power of the reverse punch. So as you switch back, you're still getting a good solid shot. It's a tip in the head. Okay? So as Kev fires a shot, it's going to be one strap to two. Okay? Nice and strong with that front hand, because you're trying to intercept two hands. So from your big circle, one up, two. Alright? Try it, it does work. It definitely works to make sure your front hand is strong and fast. It does work. Okay, it's a good shot. Let's go. Chest to chest. Come on, stand.